Right, some people will have you believe that this is rusted. And I agree with them, it is rusted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our 915 machine to uh, get it cleaned. In the 915 right now we've got the 100 to 200 glass beads, microns, 100 to 200 microns glass beads. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think it's going, I don't think they're gonna be strong enough to penetrate through the water and actually get rid of the rust or the dirt. But uh, we're gonna give them a try and then we'll, if that doesn't work then obviously we'll move on to another media which will most likely be the ceramic beads. But again, we'll try it first and then we'll come back and see what type of result we got. I'm Lawrence, this is Vixen, and this is Will It Blast. Ow, that really got in my eye. So, this is a cylinder barrel head. This is what an actual one is supposed to look like, a clean one, or close to. The fins, obviously they're there to dissipate heat, so they have to be as clean as possible. Yeah, that is really, really rusted or dirty because the thing is, our Aquablast machine will, will be able to handle this. Whether the, that media will be able to handle it or not, that's a different question, but our Aquablast machine will definitely be able to clean this. So, I'm gonna use the 915. Like I said, it's already loaded up with the glass beads, 100 to 200 microns. Let's see what happens. And a slam shut door as well. Okay, I've got to take my gloves off to actually fit my hands inside the rubber gloves. Okay, now it's important to actually work with the certain bar that's been set on the glass beads. So now with the glass beads, um, you, realistically up to 50 psi, uh, up to two and a half bars, that's, that's where you're going to get the best. Anything above that, it's too much pressure and will probably probably start shattering and breaking up the glass beads. Like I said, they are round beads, so you know, with too much power, they will start snapping in half and they become with jagged edges, which again, which is not what we want at this point. Uh, right, okay, so to check the correct pressure, the working pressure, I'm working at two bar at the moment and uh, let's see what happens, okay? Let's go. I'm gonna lean down to get my gloves in there. Just about see that under the lights, um, and that's the good thing with our lights on our Aquablast. They're actually situated right above the machine, um, so there's, you, it illuminates everything basically. So you can see it there. But we'll take it out. We'll give it a quick, uh, quick go on the air gun, and then we'll see what it looks like. Got to have gloves on because you know it's still dirty. So, okay. Now we're going to see the effect of the 100 to 200 glass bead at two bar pressure. Um, there's no point really trying it with higher pressure because again it's, it is a finer media and it probably will start breaking. So we're not going to take that risk. Okay. And uh, our air gun is actually situated on the outside of the machine so you know when you're actually blasting in there there's not going to be any media in the in the little nooks and crannies of the gun and it'll start seizing up and that's you know one of the best parts of this machine that the design is for the outside. Anyway. Sorry I should have mentioned that it's going to get really loud. Now, again, it's done a decent enough job. You can see the uniformity of the bead, but at the same time, it hasn't gone all the way through for it to clean. So it's okay, but it definitely needs something a little bit stronger. So what we'll do is we're actually gonna move it onto the uh, ceramic B60 mesh. And uh, that's actually one of the coarser beads that we have. And it's uh, one of the denser beads that we have as well. So actually, you know, penetrating through the water, it will be a lot stronger and you can actually raise the pressure maximum all the way up to 80. I don't know if we're going to get to that, but we're going to try it. Luckily, we actually do have a machine ready with a B60, so we don't have to you know, start changing media from the machine, cleaning it. That's actually going to be another video for you if you are interested. All right, so we're going to take it over to our Cube Aqua Blast over there. It's set up in the corner. Um, it, that, like I said, that does have the B60 ceramic. So hopefully it's actually going to do a better job. We're going to start it off on the lower, we're going to start it off on the lower pressure first, and then we'll raise the pressure, see what difference that makes. It is in the cube shape. Obviously, it all depends on the customer and you know where they want to put it. They want it more compact. So, right, let's slam this. Boom, there we go. Okay. Now, ceramic B60. Let's get this going.
Under the lights, you can see it a little bit better as well. Um, do you know what? Let me see if I can. It's fine. But here, the, the bits that weren't as damaged, you can see that it's done a very fine job. Um, again, it doesn't. The good thing is with the glass beads and the ceramic, they don't eat at the metal like the aluminium oxide does. So it's definitely not an application used for etching or you know ready to be painted. This is just a cleaning process. Gives it a nice uh, polished sheen finish to it. But yeah, the fins again. That's people, <laughs> people watching this thinking, how powerful is that machine? It, it is powerful, but it's not that powerful that it will actually break components, okay? This was already broken, but because there was a lot of uh, stuff stuck in the little gaps there, it was hard to tell. Um, again, you can, tell, you can already tell by the metal that it, uh, it is old. It's already been through some sort of life. I believe from my research, from my research, I believe this is from a Honda Scooter SH50 City Express. If anyone knows better than that, then please let us know in the comments. Again, from my research, that's what I was able to find out. Right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please let us know in the comments if you want to see more videos like that, uh, more hands-on videos. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, all that kind of good stuff, which obviously enables us to make more videos for you. And uh, right, well, I'm going to go. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay tuned.